Hello friends, welcome to Free Shiksha and to this lecture of quadratic equations where I am going to discuss with you how you can construct quadratic equations based on certain conditions and uh, given things. So let's start. So constructing a quadratic equation, case 1, when you have roots in hand, so you are given that uh, alpha and beta are the roots of a quadratic equation and you are asked to form a quadratic equation so it's very simple so the quadratic equation whose roots will be alpha and beta is given by x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta equals to 0 next is when you have sum and product of the roots given then you are asked to find a, uh, to form a quadratic equation and your quadratic equation will look something like this x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots third condition when an equation and the relation of its roots with the roots of the equation to be formed is given so this is slightly lengthy topic the case 3 and slightly tricky also so when an equation and the relation of its roots with the roots of the equation to be formed is given how do we go about forming a quadratic equation so suppose you are given a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 and you are also told that the roots of this equation are alpha and beta if even you you are not told about the roots you can still find it out and then you are asked to find the new quadratic equation whose roots have certain relation with the roots of this given equation so what kind of relations could be there so you you might be asked to form the equation whose roots are reciprocal of the roots of the given equation that means the roots of a new equation which we need to form are 1 upon alpha and 1 upon beta so it's very simple if you are asked to form such a quadratic equation you replace the given equation uh, the x in the given equation by 1 upon x and the new equation that you will have in hand will be the required equation so the new equation that we have this cx square plus bx plus a equals to 0 if we will try and find the roots of this equation that will be the reciprocal of the roots of given equation which we had ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 very simple one so let's see what else could be there so you might be asked to find or form the quadratic equation whose roots are k more than the roots of the given equation that means the roots of the new equation would be alpha plus k and beta plus k so to form such a quadratic equation we just need to replace x with x minus k and if you do so in the given equation this is what you will come up with and this is all that is required similarly if you are asked to form the equation whose roots are k less than the roots of given equation that means the roots are alpha minus k and beta minus k then you replace x with x plus k in the given equation and what you get is the new equation now the equation whose roots are k times the root of the given equation that means k alpha and k beta these are the roots of the new equation all you have to do is replace your x with x upon k and what you come up with uh, after solving this particular thing will be your new equation whose roots are k times the roots of the given equation and similarly if you have roots uh, of the new equation as 1 upon k times the roots of given equation then you replace x with kx and what you get is the new equation that was a very simple topic to understand and uh, I have tried my level best to keep it as simple as I could if you still have doubts on the same topic you can comment below the video or you can ask your queries on our website www.freeshiksha.co.in Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Have a great day.